Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 4th of July. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. This is the name of Telegram channel, GK Today YouTube. Now we have started a new channel, Civils Academy. So if you find it relevant, you can subscribe to it. So the link of this channel, this Telegram channel and link of GK Today Academy app is given in the description. Please check that. Now let's start. Which digital platform of Indian government won two awards at the prestigious Global Leadership Summit COGX 2020? So the name of the event is COGX. It is a Global Leadership Summit and my GOV Corona platform won the two awards at this Leadership Summit. So these two awards are Best Innovation for COVID-19 in Society category and second award was People's Choice COVID-19 Overall Winner. Now, this COGX 2020 is a global festival of artificial intelligence, that is AI, and it is organized annually in London. Now, in the context of AI, recently, India joined GPAI. What is GPAI? It is Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence. So, recently, India joined it and India became the founding member of this organization. And this GPAI will be supported by a secretariat and that will be hosted by OECD. What is OECD? It is Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. So it is in Paris. So this GPAI will have two centers of expertise. One center is going to be in Montreal and second center is going to be in Paris. Montreal is in Canada and Paris is in France. WTO has set up a dispute panel on which countries tariff on ICT goods. So recently EU that is European Union claimed that India is imposing tariff on few categories of ICT products in the excess of WTO norms and therefore this dispute panel has been set up for India. So in this context there is one important term that is request for consultation. So this term is related to WTO that is World Trade Organization. What is the meaning of request for consultation? That means it is the formal way to initiate a dispute in WTO. WTO was founded in 1995. Recently, WTO was in use because of its Director General Roberto Azevedo. So he is from Brazil and recently he announced his resignation and it is going to be effective from 31st of August. So he is from Brazil. Recently, Brazil was in use as the Central Bank of Brazil suspended WhatsApp Pay. WhatsApp is an entity of Facebook and recently Facebook launched this WhatsApp Pay in Brazil. Which former union minister is to lead the proposed CDF that is Cooperative Development Forum. So it is going to be headed by Suresh Prabhu and this CDF will be formally launched on July 24. Now what is the objective of this platform? It aims to work towards promoting the cooperative movement in our country and therefore to boost the rural economy of our country. Which global organization released a global education monitoring report that is GEM. So this GEM is associated to UNESCO. Now there is one more GEM that is government e-marketplace. Answer in comment books. It is associated to which union ministry that means this GEM is an initiative of which union ministry. So now coming back to this global education monitoring report. So this report has been released by UNESCO and the theme of this report is inclusion and education. All means all. So it focus on SDG 4. What is SDG 4? SDG stands for sustainable development goals and the goal number 4 is related to inclusive education. So first SDG is target of no poverty. Second SDG is target of no hunger. Third SDG is related to health and fourth SDG is related to education. So today we have covered four SDG and the code is PHHE that is poverty, hunger, health, education. And fifth one is related to gender equality and sixth is related to sanitation. So the short code for first six sustainable development goals is PHHEGS poverty, hunger, health, education, gender equality and sanitation. So in upcoming video, we are going to cover next SDZ. 
Now coming back to the original question. So in the context of education, there are two important declaration. One is King Dao declaration and another one is Incheon declaration. So these two are related to education sector. Now answer in comment box, Beijing declaration is associated to which field? Apart from that, Bangkok declaration is associated to which organization? Please answer in comment box. Which union ministry is set to launch a cashless scheme for the road accident victims with an insurance cap of 2.5 lakhs. So this will be set up by MORTH that is Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Present minister is Nitin Gadkari. So this ministry is going to set up motor vehicle accident fund. So this fund will have an insurance coverage of rupee 2.5 lakh per case and therefore it will enable the road accident victims to be eligible to get this which organization has developed the airborne locust control system to tackle the locust attack? So this has been developed by our Indian Air Force. And it has developed this locust control system on MI-17 helicopters. Recently, India became the first country to control locust through drones. Who is the head of national level committee set up by Ministry of Home Affairs for reforms in criminal law? So we have already covered this. And this committee will be headed by Ranbir Singh, who is the Vice Chancellor of NLU Delhi. What is NLU? It is National Law University. Which Indian author has won the 2020 Commonwealth Short Story Prize? So, Kartika Pandey won this prize for her story, The Great Indian Tea and Snakes. So the name of the prize is 2020 Commonwealth Short Story Prize. What is the theme of National Doctors' Day? So every year it is celebrated on 1st of July and the theme was lessen the mortality of COVID-19. So this National Doctors Day is celebrated in our country in the honor of Dr. Vedhan Chandra Roy. Now 1st of July is also celebrated as Chartered Accountants Day. It is also celebrated as Postal Workers Day. While 2nd of July is celebrated as World Sports Journalist Day. And 4th of July is Independence Day of USA. Who has been appointed as the next permanent representative of India to United Nations? So, Mr. Indra Mani Pandey has been appointed as India's next permanent representative to United Nations and to other international organizations in Geneva. Home Ministry has extended the AFSPA, that is Armed Forces Special Powers Act, in which state for next six months. So, recently it was extended in Nagaland, and this power has been exercised as per the provisions of Section 3 of AFSPA. Which power has been exercised? The power to declare whole state as disturbed area. What is AFSPA? It is Armed Forces Special Power Act. What is the name of project announced by the Kerala government for the rehabilitation of its people returning from abroad? So the name of this project is Dream Kerala. So this initiative aims to provide opportunities to those who returned from abroad due to COVID-19. Now a similar initiative has been started by central government and the name of this initiative is Swadesh Scheme. So for this scheme, three ministries are going to collaborate. These three ministries are Ministry of Civil Aviation, Ministry of External Affairs and Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. The United Nations has raised 7.7 .7 billion US dollars in humanitarian aid for the people affected by the war in which country. So this has been raised for Syria and Germany provided the biggest donation for this humanitarian aid for Syria. Now Germany was also in news because of German footballer Mario Gomes. He was in news recently as he announced his retirement. What is the name of new scheme launched by SERB to strengthen the research ecosystem? What is SERB? It is Science and Engineering Research Board. So the name of this initiative is Accelerate Vigyan. So this is an effort towards strengthening the scientific research base. So this SERB is under Department of Science and Technology. Which Indian state is to launch a scheme called Hamara Ghar Hamara Vidyalaya? So this scheme is related to Madhya Pradesh. What is the objective of this scheme? The objective is to teach students at home in a school-like environment. Now recently Madhya Pradesh was in news because of its cabinet expansion. The chief minister of Madhya Pradesh is Sivraj Singh Chauhan and recently he expanded its council of ministers. 
However, the opposition claimed that this expansion breached the constitutional limit of 15%. What is this 15% limit? So as per Article 164 of Indian Constitution, the total number of ministers including the chief minister in a council of ministers of a state, that means total members of council of minister shall not exceed the 15% of the total number of seats in legislative assembly. Let me just explain you in simple terms. Suppose the strength of legislative assembly is 100, then in that state, more than 15 members cannot be appointed as ministers. So the upper limit is 15%. Which Indian institution has launched world's first online Bachelor of Science degree in Data Science and Programming. So this has been launched by IIT Madras. And this course has no age limit and the students who have passed 12th class can enroll in this course. It is important to note that even though this course is going to be conducted online, the examinations will be organized in offline mode. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news. Feel free to skip it if you do not like the format. So first news is related to DAC that is Defense Acquisition Council. This DAC is headed by Defense Minister. Recently this DAC was in news as it cleared various proposals because it cleared various proposals related to defense acquisition. Answer in comment box who is the head of defense planning committee. This one is Defense Acquisition Council. Next is related to India's international investment position. So recently, a report in this context was released by RBI. RBI is Reserve Bank of India. Next is Drug Discovery Hackathon. So recently, this hackathon was jointly organized by AICTE and CSIR. What is AICTE? It is All India Council for Technical Education. What is CSIR? It is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. So why this hackathon was organized? This was organized to provide a platform to all those people who have ideas to cure this coronavirus disease. Next is India's first government sponsored INVIT. So NHAI that is National Highway Authority of India is going to set up this India's first government sponsored infrastructure investment trust. And for this purpose recently NHAI constituted a committee and this committee will be headed by NHAI chairperson and the chairperson of NHAI is Dr. Sukhbir Singh Santhu. Recently, Dr. Sukhbir Singh Santhu was in news because he was given the extension of six months as chairperson of NHAI. NHAI is under Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Next is Balram scheme. So this is a scheme related to Odisha government to provide the agricultural credit to the landless farmers to support them in this pandemic situation. Next is related to Forex. So India has world's fifth largest Forex reserves. Forex, Forex stands for foreign exchange reserves. So currently our Forex reserve is approximately 500 billion dollars. So India is on fifth position and India is after China, Japan, Switzerland and Russia. Next is Intel Capital Geo. So recently the investment arm of Intel acquired stakes in geo platform and it acquired 0.39% stakes in geo platforms. Recently geo was in news because of geo mint. A special video on this topic has already been uploaded on civil academy. Next is zip drive. So this is an online instant auto loan facility and it is related to HDFC bank and it is related to auto sector. Next is network for greening the financial systems. So recently a DB that is Asian Development Bank has joined this network for greening the financial system as observer and the system is based in France in Paris. Next is Mobile Master Z. So this is a teaching app which has been developed by IIT Kanpur. Next is US Federal Communications Commission. So recently this commission was in use as it declared China's Huawei and ZTE. So these two companies are of China and these two companies has been declared as national security threat by the Federal Communications Commission of USA. Next is Global Bharat program. So this program has been launched by a German technology company SAP India. So this program has been developed for MSME sector to provide them technological assistance and to equip them with technologies. Next is constitutional amendments in Russia. So recently the Russian public has supported the 
proposed constitutional amendments through a referendum. And now, Russian President Putin can stay in power till 2036. Why 2036? Because the presidential term in Russia is of 6 years. So in 2024, this current term of Russian president will expire. After this, the president can be re-elected for two more terms. That means till 2030 and then till 2036. So six years, six years. Next is Okavango Delta. So this Delta is in Botswana. And recently it was in news because of death of hundreds of elephants in this Delta. Now Botswana is an African country and it is landlocked country and approximately 70% of territory of this country is covered by Kalahari Desert. Next is Dharam Chakra Day. One more thing, Botswana has the largest population of elephants. Next is Dharam Chakra Day. So Ministry of Culture in partnership with IBC that is International Buddhist Confederation will celebrate this 4th of July as Dharam Chakra Day. Next is Enrica Lexi case. So please read about this case. This is your homework. Recently, it was in news because of PCA verdict. What is PCA? It is Permanent Court of Arbitration. And next is Nemo. So recently, this location was in news because of the visit by the Indian Prime Minister. And it is in Leh district. Next is Hul Divas. So it is celebrated in Jharkhand. And this time, the celebrations were called off due to COVID-19. Next is related to Saroj Khan. So she was a well-known choreographer. She passed away recently. Next is Upa Rokamlova. So he was the former Speaker of Mizoram Assembly. Next is Godbhai Rajpaksha. So he is the current President of Sri Lanka. Recently he was in news because he prohibited the use of his photographs by the candidates during the upcoming parliamentary elections in Sri Lanka. And last news is related to France as recently Edouard Philippe resigned from the post of Prime Minister. So these were the most important questions of today's quiz. Now homework. So first you have to read about that Enrica Lexi case. Second, please read about R note. And third, please read about fixed versus floating exchange rate. So that was all for the day. Thank you.